Listen, we are here for one thing and one thing only, and it is negativity. Drake has responded, Kendrick Lamar's this on Metro and Future's album on the song like that with the song called Push Up. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, when this song first dropped, people were saying that it's AI, and I was believing it too. I didn't listen to the song, but I was like, bro, if he hasn't released it on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, or whatever, it is AI as hell. I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna see if it's AI myself. But yeah, Drake, I know that he dissed Metro. They said Rick Ross, um, obviously Kendrick, and I think that's it. Someone else let me know in the comments or I'm gonna hear the song and see who else he does. But yeah, it's that good rap, man. It's that good rap beef. I love to see it. And I'm talking like, comment, subscribe, support the channel, support your boy. Let's get straight to it, bro. Talk to me. The song is called Push Up, Drop and Give Me 50. Kendrick, Rick Ross, Metro Boomin' This. All right. On my right screen, I have Rap Genius up so I don't miss nothing. I'm going to try my best not to use it as much because I do want to catch and see if I could catch the double entendres myself. I don't like to, you know, that that's cheating. You know, that's cheat. That's like cheating on the test, you know? But yeah, let's get to it. Come on, talk to me. Three minutes to 55. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This hard. This hard. Yes, I know. All right, come on. Talk to me. Come on. I don't need genius for that. I already know. All right. I can never be no one's number one fan. I put my first number one in your hands. That got to be Future because I did hear that uh, Future when he was talking about you're a nigga number one fan, dog, on the album. Um, It was directed towards Drake. And then I know that Future did get his first number one from Drake. Way too sexy. I'm not a fan of Drake. I mean, I'm a fan of Drake, obviously, but I'm not a stan. I'm not a dig riding Drake and all this shit. But you get what I'm trying to say, like, ugh. Okay, that's our first bar. All right. I'm going to listen through, and I'm going to go back and try to catch him. All right, let's go. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Okay. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Mm. Your pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. Okay. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the bar. Mm. He said, you pussies can't get booked outside America for Nan. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker. Y'all depend on backstage in my city. It was friend zones. All right, I got to see, like, who was he talking about for that one? Rap Genius says that Drake claims that people that are against him are only known in America while he is global, while his name is reaching Japan. Oh, nah. And then he also said, you either take no chains off of us. How the fuck you... Big stepping with a size seven men's on. I don't need lyrics for that. That is 100% Kendrick. Kendrick works a size seven men's though. Now that is kind of crazy. Damn. Tough. I wouldn't let him talk to me like that. Come on. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Okay. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven men's on? Damn. This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, whole career, you been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick. You really not on shit. What? They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Huh? Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Oh. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Mm. Mm. I do get that one though too. I do know that people were saying that uh Kendrick he doesn't really release a lot because his label gets fifty percent. So when he said drop it, gave me fifty. Oh, and the Kendrick be doing push ups too. He do be doing them burpees. I did see a video from him in the park. Ah. 
This is that Bark with a Bite, nigga. What's up? We know that. I know the pictures on the wall. When y'all cook up, obviously, we know that. Extortion, baby. Whole career when you been shook up. Cause Top told you to drop and give him 50 like some push ups. Ugh. I'm gonna assume Top is like the label manager of TDE. Um, He's the CEO of TDE. Okay. Damn. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Before I get any further, I'm just letting you know. All right. If you ask me who signed them on, my team Kendrick, they're my team Drake. Listen, I am team music. I'm team negativity. Whatever side I have to be on for us to get more diss tracks like this, I'm going to be on it, you know? All right. But for real, if you ask me who is the better rapper, I'm going to say Kendrick 10 out of 10 times. If you ask me who got better hits, then obviously I'm going to say Drake 10 out of 10 times. If you ask me who I think is like the GOAT, I'm going to say Kendrick, so I might be on Kendrick's side, but I'm here to be unbiased. If Kendrick releases a diss track as well, and that's just worse than Drake's, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, nah, <laughs> you know how Twitter be, nah, Kendrick, he cooked them up. They be knowing that shit dog poop, you feel me? But yeah, like, for real, like, whoever wins at the end of the day, they just the winner. I'm here for the great music. This is fantastic. The rap game needs this, man. I'm about to release this track too. Come on. All right, talk to me. Tighty, Maroon 5, need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. Pips. He do have a Maroon 5 in his Taylor Swift. Oh, no, that's hard. Huh? Side of bitty. Maroon 5, need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. What? Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What this nigga just say about the label? Hold on, I peeped that. Show inside the bitty Maroon 5 need a drop and give them Got you wiped down Travis got you wiped down Savage got you wiped down Like your label boy You in the scope right now Like your label boy You in the scope right now Like you're in the scope Like you're in the scope Like you're in the scope But also interscope Like his label interscope Do you not get this? Do you not get this? Do you not get this? Come on Oh that's hard That's hard I ain't gonna lie I give him props for that you wipe down, savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. Oh. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20v1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Oh, Get more shit. love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. You run, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you run, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. He got me. <laughs> he got me. He got me. He got me. This nigga hasn't mentioned Metro not one time. He gave him a little uh, line to say, listen, Metro. I know you was listening to this track to wait for me dissing you. All I'm going to tell you is shut the fuck up. Go back and produce some music. I got nothing else to say to you because you can't diss me. Are you going to rap, nigga? Is Metro going to rap? Huh? Huh? Absolutely not. Come on. I hike down. Big different swing. Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20 V1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Nah. Yeah, I'm a six <laughs> guy. I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Trickin'? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Ooh. Boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, 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 wicked. Just like Future's song, wicked, wicked, wicked. No. All right, listen, 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 listen. 
I might be Team Kendrick, as in like, if you had to make me put in money on who is going to release the better diss tracks, I'm gonna obviously say fucking Kendrick. It's fucking Kendrick Lamar. That nigga just goat, you know. But we're not gonna sit here and act like this shit ass. I seen people saying like, nah, Kendrick is over for Drake. GG's Kendrick from the release, son. It's gonna be over. This shit ain't ass at all. But let me get back to the lyrics. All right. And when your boys got rich, you had to run from a cash blowing able bread out here tricking. I know that's weekend. Shit we doing for bitches, he doing for niggas. Is he calling him a G A Y? Dre goes after Cash XO, who is the weekend's manager, stating that he is giving out high amounts. Drake also goes after the weekend, referring to the amount of features he gave Future and Metro across the two albums. He states that the amount of features that the weekend has given to Future and Metro. He generated a high amount for cash show. Future Metro has the charts will likely gain attraction due to his featuring. I ain't gonna lie. This whole time, this nigga, he really just like, at first he mentioned Kendrick, and then he's like, half the uh, money you're making from these songs, you gotta give it to your manager, your CEOs, your label. And now he's saying, Weekend, whatever you make, you got to give it to your manager. Really, he just flexing. He's saying, all the money I make, it goes to me. Y'all niggas. Y'all got to give it to somebody else. That's really what he's saying this whole time. Shit. That's hard, though. That's slight flex. All right. He do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. That's hard. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy, chipping, Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit will probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about it. They did preview like that at Rolling Loud when Travis Scott was like, what's that song that go? dun 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 Okay, okay. He gives one. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Puzzle Whoa. kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Ayy, better drop and give me drop and give me fit, drop and give me fit. What the fuck was that? All right, husband and kids, man, don't tell me about no switches. I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Unlike that, in which Kendrick's verse is full of shots, Drake responds by saying he is not scared of two C's, and Kendrick snatches his chains by claiming he will wear everything he owns next time he sees Kendrick, okay? I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, obviously like the movie bodyguards of Whitney, but what does that mean? The flex of security, Drake li like Lens, like it's a pop artist, Whitney, who starred in the romance film Bodyguard. This could also be a jab at Whitney out for the wife of Kendrick Lamar. She featured on the cover of 2022, guarded by Lamar and his concealed gun. Triple entendre? Considering that the album mocked earlier in his verse, dwells in his struggles. This wouldn't be the first time Drake mentions someone's wife in a diss. I told you keep playing with my name and I'ma let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I ain't gonna hold you. It might be GG's for this nigga. For Aubrey Graham. When you bring a wife into it, that doesn't even know it's you. Nah. <laughs> nah. GG's. This is gonna be good this. Come on. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Hey, better drop and give me fit. Okay. Drop and give me fit. Okay. Drop and give me fit. Okay. Okay. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky. Mm. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out. I got it. That gotta be recrossed. That gotta be recrossed. Let me click on here real quick. That nigga said, I can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. This dab is towards Rick Ross, who followed Drake on IG soon after the album dropped. Rick Ross posted on his IG of him listening to Kendrick's diss towards Drake. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. 
Really? All this nigga Drake is doing on this song is he just flexing. He's saying, I make my own money from these songs. Y'all gotta give it to somebody else. I gave y'all y'all hits. He tweaking. I don't like it. Nah, it's crazy. And then spend that little check you got. Stay up out my business. No. Wait, so like. Did Drake give Rick Ross all his songs? All his hits? No. Rick Ross got, he got, uh, that one song. That other one too. He got that other one too. Yeah. Drake ain't on that, right? Like he, he got that other one too, like. Oh, and then that one Rick Ross song where he. And then the last one that charted was like a couple years ago without Drake. That one was about like. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a couple like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Jizzy. Damn. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little hard, bro. Got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. It's obviously John Morant. And this whole verse is basically about Rick Ross. Did John Morant have any connection with Rick Ross? He boxed him. Did he hit somebody that Rick Ross likes? Um, what the fuck? Shout out to that Hooper that be busting out the greedy. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little broken Twitter shit for the bitches. Drake talks about known and John Morant known for doing the greedy. Ja responded to the Metro Troop regarding the album, which was full of subliminal that Drake responding to the album. Stay on that side. The reason Morant may have sided with Metro is that Drake was rumored to have gone on a date with Ja's ex. However, Ja makes fun of, however, Drake makes Ja fun of Ja. Damn, I can't even read. Fuck. However, Drake makes fun of Ja for being heartbroken and running his mouth on Twitter. So that's a diss to y'all. He going for everyone. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song y'all got did not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping he is not fucking easing up. Nigga for all the top dogs, drop and give me 50, drop, drop. And that fucking song y'all got did not start the beef with us. us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating he up. Know. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne <laughs> tripping, he is not fucking easing up. He's calling Drake, he's calling Jake Cole pussy, he's absolutely correct. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. I got a Dreamville flag, by the way, so all you Jake Cole fans, if you try to get on me for calling Jake Cole a pussy, I'm a Jake Cole fan too. He's a pussy. Why you go? Why you apologize at your own festival, dumb fuck? It's rap. Whatever Kendrick jab, whatever jab Kendrick got, I'm just taking on the chin. That is pussy as fuck. I'm not over that shit. You, 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 you bitch. Damn. Being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne fuck. tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not. Streamer, subliminal drop. Piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you're not fucking deep, deep enough. enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you're not fucking beating us. Begging are going to stream? Who the fuck is begging? Co Number one, I gotta give Drake a deduction point for mentioning a streamer on his song. First of all, shout out to Kai, of course. That nigga's goaded. But like, come on, bro. Rat beef. No, I ain't gonna lie, that's motion. You're getting mentioned in a diss track with Kendrick and Drake and J. Cole. I'm trying to get there one day. Y'all got to get me there, bro. Subscribe, please.
All right, come on. Piece it up, top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you're not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating Ooh, up. Numbers this? wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. This is a warning. Because you got to remember. Drake, he did release that one track towards Meek Mill, and then he dropped back to back. And then, then Pusha T, he released like a track or some diss. Drake replied, and then he released Story of Fatty Dawn. So he's saying, this is just a warning. This is on slight. He just like J. Cole, but not with the pussy part. But he's saying, yeah, this is just, this is on slight. Don't, don't let me really come out with a shit. Okay, 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 okay. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What type of you smoking on Kendrick? Was that academics? Yeah, try. You switch? Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. Oh. I was going to say, if he would have hopped back on a B on that B switch, I would have said, I ain't going to lie, Drake won. I don't care what Kendrick got, Drake won. All right. That was push ups with Drake. Let me check a couple of these lyrics, make sure I'm forgetting. Uh, I want to go back to that begging Kassin at bar. Because, you know, me and Kai, we, we really up there. Like, we really like the top streamers, we really like the top content creators for real life. Me and him, we really like right here with it for real. Like, but yeah, they costing that boy. You're not fucking beating us. This is Shada Kendrick and his record label Interscope. Supposedly begged costing that to stream with Kendrick. For real? As you can see in his video, many rappers and artists go on stream for publicity stuff before a drop, as Tony Savage did prior to his American Dream. I don't, that gotta be cap though. Like, The label might have hit up Kai, but like Kendrick Lamar is not going on Kai's stream. That's Cap. Whoever wrote this genius fired this nigga. This is terrible. The numbers wise, I'm out of here. You're not fucking creeping up. I ain't gonna lie, that is true. Drake is Drake. This nigga been doing this for two decades, nearly. Okay. Cornball, you show money, merch, money free. I can't read. Once again, Cornball, you show money, merch, money fee to us. Your show money, merch money, you feed to us? He said how much you make on a show. That's what that's how much I get from my merch. Ugh. I'm gonna let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. Okay, obviously. As multiple during begin to join in this dissing, leading to increase in tension streams. Drake is seemingly hinting that they are doing it to make more money so that they could pay back their labels. He really just talking to shit. I got money, you don't. That's really all he's saying on this. If you if you want to explain this to a middle schooler. You know, to a uh, kindergarten is really so Drake. He's basically saying, "I got bread, you don't. I gotta pay my label back. You gotta pay your label back. I don't. I hate your favorite wife. You can't. You could release. I could release music. You can't. I'm tall. You're short. I wear size eleven. You wear seven. This ain't even everything that I know. Don't wake me the demon up." Yes, yeah, so this is really just warning shots. Like, if you really hear it, it's a diss, but he's not really saying a lot crazy. I ain't gonna lie to listen to this. I believe, yeah. This this ain't AI. It's not AI. It's not AI. But I do say this. I feel like Drake, this is just my take. I could be completely wrong, but no. Listen. Once again, I do believe Kendrick is better than Drake. But I am unbiased. So for my unbiased take, it is that he did leak this himself. Drake obviously leaked this himself because you got to really think about life. If one of your biggest upcoming or uh, potential awaited diss tracks is about to release, you think he didn't take 100% protection, making sure like it does not leak at all? 
Think about it. Obviously, he leaked this himself because he does not want to release it on. Because if he does, and if it does not get a reception that it needs, then he is fucked. Because then Kendra comes out of the womb, smacking him in his ass. Pause. So I do believe he did leak this himself. At first, I did believe that it was an AI because I woke up one day, people saying it's a diss track. I'm looking at Spotify and shit. Nothing's there. So I'm just assuming, like, it's AI, bro. Like, you know how AI gets. Like, I just seen a couple niggas on TikTok make AIs of, like, Playboy Cardi and shit like that. And it sounds exactly like that, nigga, bro. But yes, I do believe that Drake, his team, OVO, whatever the fuck, they released this themselves, leaked it. Oh, no, it got leaked. Just to see how the crowd does. Because, like, at the end of the day, if Kendrick comes back and start frying him, he gets to be like, I ain't released this track. I never released nothing. Think about it. He'd be like, I ain't never released nothing. Oh, y'all talking about that one that went viral like a couple weeks ago on Twitter? Oh, no, that's just AI. No, that's AI. Think about it. But yeah, Drake, next time, release a diss track on Spotify. Ain't getting us, nigga. For shit. I'm waiting for Kendrick. J. Cole, you still a bitch. I'm disgusted by you, bro. You is a hoe. Apologizing. This is rap. Why are you apologizing? Piss me the fuck off. But yeah. <sighs> Overall, this is a good diss track, bro. This is a good diss track to start the rounds off. Now it's gonna get juicy. I know Rick Ross did release a diss track. It will be up on my channel. Go check out the channel. Click click my channel link. Click on videos. You you probably gonna see it on here after this. <laughs> but for real, like, comment, subscribe, support, share, support, bye. It's that real music, man. That shit. <laughs> I'm out.